<clears throat> Welcome to Nightmares Haunt, a perhaps silly RPG game. I, I, it looked interesting. I don't want to spoil anything because I, I looked at the trailer and I was like, oh man, I know people are going to really like this. Uh, so I won't get into what it's about. You'll just have to take my word for it, I guess. Unless I'm even completely wrong based on the trailer and images I briefly look at. And I gotta play it before Manly Badass does, you see. Because <laughs> I know he's probably gonna play this shit. Either way. <laughs> Let's get into it. I was a poor, naive girl, unfamiliar with the ways of love. Until he swept in... Oh my. He had, a, he had small shoulders and the physique of a prepubescent child. His ears peered out like pointy hot dogs from behind his long girl- Hot dogs? Why- why hot dogs? From behind his long girlish hair. He never took off the horns. Wait, he never took- He never took off the horns he stole when the clerk at the Halloween store wasn't looking. Are you sure those aren't natural? Such a child, yet such a man. He said- I need another house servant because I live by myself, but don't like to do any housework. Also, I'm unemployed, so I can't pay you. But I guess if we get enough maids, we'll be self-sustaining, and you won't need money. It was the most romantic thing a man had ever told me. Every day I woke up looking for the smallest chance to see him. Until... Maid number 18, where in the world is that darn cranberry pie? It's been a whole five minutes since the last one. Don't make me get Zara to lock you in the cellar when he gets back. She fell in love with him. And now... Maid number 18! Pie! Now! Sigh. When will Zara get back from his trip? I'd better go get another cranberry pie. What is this? Sparklies? Yes! Oh boy, Mrs. Yoki wants her pies again. But then again, when does she not? I heard that, you little disrespectful little tramp! Don't make me come down there and put you in one of my pies. Ah, I'm sorry, Mrs. Yoki. Yes, you are, you little... You, you succulent little cranberry. I could just shove you in my mouth and chew you up right now. It'd be delicious. Jesus Christ, and I didn't think the elf person was a girl. Oh right, the doors here get stuck sometimes. I'd better give it another jiggle or two. Is this where the pies are kept? Jesus Christ, they're all pies! The pies are stacked too high, you can't take one without toppling the whole thing over. Oh God. Oh, hello number 18. Zara was looking for you earlier. Really? Yeah, apparently he scraped his knee. He asked Yuki to kiss it. But she just yelled at him and called him a child. Did... Did he uh, want me to kiss it? Oh no. Yoki just told him to make you clean the toilets. That man pees all over the lid and floor. He doesn't even raise the seat. It's disgusting. Oh god. Hee hee. I'm having a wonderful day. What happened? I was helping Master Zera leave the mansion. When all of a sudden, I tripped and scuffed myself. Zera rushed over immediately. He ripped off his shirt and wrapped it around my bruise. His boyish pectorals glistened in the sunlight. My heart throbbed, I began to faint. He scooped me into his arms, he held me close and looked into my eyes. There, there, don't cry. You're the most important thing in the world to me. Maid number 379. I fainted. When I woke up, it was like nothing ever happened. That's because it was a dream, you idiot. Aww. Yeah, I mean, so the thing, I, I don't even think this person would remember the maid specific number unless they had a badge on their chest saying that which maid number they are, especially if it goes up to 379 or things like that. Here we are, a freshly cooled pie. I'll just give this to Mrs. Yoki so she can stop yelling at me, at least until she wants another in five minutes. We haven't put crammed cranberries, cram berries in this pie yet. Cr crammed cranberries? It's not done. What about this one? Crammed cranberries? Cram cran... Crammy cranberries? Depends on where they are, because I, I do want to explore, too. It's quite dark out tonight, and I don't want Yoki to be impatient. I better be careful all around. I'm gonna run away! 
There's multiple endings. Maybe get to just run away and escape. For our dear maid and the child she loved, who were taken away too early. Rest in peace. Like, what is all this? Oink, oink. Are you here to pay a visit to the dragon god, too, before you go through the woods? Make sure to bring an offering so he does not get upset with me. Those that anger him do not tend to get through the forest alive. A large, worn dragon statue. Seems like it's been occasionally cleaned. And yes, I'm wearing my gamer glove today, too. There's like this whole area outside. How big is this game? I thought it was just going to be about being a maid in a silly mansion. Now I'm confused. How large is this game? Weird music, too, by the way. Hey, you! Do you hate this sign? Do you find it frustrating that it is not in the middle of the path blocking your way? Does it make you depressed that you were able to read every word on it clearly? Do you lie awake at night wondering how I managed to shove so many words on such a small sign? Well, then come on down to K's inconveniently placed sign emporium, where all the signs are absolutely useless and unhelpful just a little further down this road. And the best part, it's not haunted, except by good prices. The prices are good for me, not for you, who will be paying a lot. I'm going to stop writing now. I see. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll check it out. I did save after all. So I get to see if there's anything useful by coming down here. Oh, hey, player. Welcome to the K's tiny and convenient sign emporium. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Oh, no. They don't pay me. And Well, that's sad. It's on the house. You get all the inconvenient at none of the cost. Really? Your, your confinement to this small region is thanks enough. I, I can't seem to go further. A tiny, impassable, knee-height sign. It's $4,000. The prices are inconvenient, too. What about this small one? A tiny, impassable, knee... Oh, it's, it's also $4,000. Huh? I see. I Can I buy the sign? It's not for sale. But it says sale. No, 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 no. That's... That's... S ale, an abbreviation for small ale. So can I buy alcohol? Nope. That's why the sign is inconvenient. Why oh, see. Well, I... Hey! It's pretty dangerous out there at night. Stay safe. Well, I mean, isn't he nice? Well, I'll have to see, I guess. Why could I even go outside? I'm gonna save in a new place. Because I'm sure I could deliver the pies? Yeah, I'll, t I'll, t I'll explore the mansion before going anywhere else, honestly. There's a note underneath this lamp. Ugh, oh, well, it seems Zara finally got me. I walked into this room just looking around, and next thing I know, I hear a click. He locked me in. All that's in here is this comfy bed and a very nice maid who keeps fluffing it and offering me cranberry juice. I'm so tired, Zara's locked me in here for hours. I can't stay awake any longer, I'm about to fall asleep. Yoki, if you read this in the future, know that you don't really love him. It's a spell. Snap out of it. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger. Yeah, right, Yoki. Who would reject Zara's hot body? A boring bed. Yoki says we're not allowed to sleep in these, so we sleep on the floor. Unless it's covered in cranberries, then we stand. Oh. In the drawer, there's a note. Oh, Yoki, why won't you love me? Every day, I sit outside your house uninvited, giving you awful dreams. But you don't like those for some reason, even though women are supposed to like jerks. So I built this mansion just for you in the forest. I stocked all the shelves with nothing but cranberries. I hired dozens of maids who prepare hot cranberry baths for you every day. Why won't you bathe in my cranberry juice, Yoki? Oh, Zara. I would soak every inch of myself in warm cranberries for you. Damn. A big, thick cabinet. It's big enough for two maids to hide in. That's oddly specific. Hey, I'm just trying to help. Maybe it could help by removing those stupid tiny signs. A man has to make a living. And don't say this too loudly, but Yoki's been acting a little erratic lately. She asked for a glass of milk, and when I gave it to her, she splashed on my face and called me a dirty wench. She then forced me to mop it up with my face while shouting, Zara is the sexiest thing alive! But then afterwards, she complimented my dress and told me that I was the sexiest thing alive. Yuki always gets a little weird when Zara's out of the house. Aww. Breeze the open window. 
We keep that open to air out this floor. After all, if the house gets too smelling too much like cranberries, Yoki might eat the mansion. What's with them in cranberries? I mean, I, I hated cranberry juice as a kid, because it's like something your grandparents always drink. But it sort of grew on me because I was living with my grandma during my college years. And like, the only juice you had is cranberry. So sometimes I'd be like, I'm dying of thirst, my mouth is so dry. And I didn't want to drink water, so I just drank some of the cranberry juice. And it sort of just like, it, it grew on me. I don't know, man. But, I don't know. A giant pie slicer. It gets used frequently. A sword is a pie slicer, of course. This is not actually a mirror. It's art from before Zara married Yoki. There's a plaque beneath. I call this four diagonal lines in mirror frame. It shows that sometimes when you look into the abyss, it's just four lines that are there. One day, I switched Yoki's mirror out with it. She said, Zara, why are you standing outside the shower? Get out now. But Yoki, you have to see my art. It's almost as beautiful as your body. The police were not fair art critiques either. Who's this? Zara is a lot older than he appears. A long time ago, he had a maid who fell madly in love with him. Zara wasn't interested, but she still served him for a long time. One day, a young girl mysteriously showed up on his doorstep. No one could figure out who she was or where she was from. The whole time she was around, she never said a single word. So Zara just told the maid to take care of her. The girl became extremely attached and never left her side. Sometime later, the two went out in the woods, and they never came back. They eventually found the maid's body, but the child never showed up again. That maid's name was... Miss Get No Pies! Because she stood around listening to the butler, instead of getting my pies. I do have the pie, I'm just taking my sweet time. All of Zara's stuff is in this room. When Yoki moved in, she practically had him move all the stuff out of his room. This is where Zara... I don't even know if it's Zara or Zara, I'm just gonna continue going on with Zara. This is where Zara keeps his shirts. He never wears them. And who knows whose room... Oh, wonderful. Have you bought Mrs. Yoki's pie? Yes, I have it right here. Good, she's growing impatient. Give it here! Impatient? That's an understatement. Where's my pie? Aha! It's in my hands now, Yoki. I've got your pie! Claire, what? Why are you here? Now that I have taken this pie, Zero will finally love me. What? No! Give me back the pie, you thief! Oh, and leave Zero alone too, I guess. Why does any of this matter? We have like a billion pies downstairs. Shut up, you! You're about to have a billion pies in your face! Oh no! Ah, my face! Sucks to suck weirdos. See ya. No! Number 18, where is my pie? It's uh, on my face. What? Hmm, you don't say. Le maybe I should leave? Oh god! Oh god! What, what happens if- I'm curious. <laughs> Did he eat me? Or she eat me? 18. Huh? Made number 18. Stop daydreaming and bring me my cranberry pie. Ah, sorry, Ms. Yoki, I'm on the way. Make sure to hold shift to spring and bring my pie faster, or whatever you people press on Mac. Now hurry! Here's... It's the same situation. Now Zara will love me forever! Ah! I still don't understand how this would work! So I have to... It's just gonna be the same thing until I get away. I'll keep doing it until they do something different, then. Hey! I don't think we're, we've actually met before. My name is Claire. I'm a witch. And I kind of need to do this thing, you know, like where... <laughs> that really got all up in your face. Yeah, sorry about that. That smashed Claire, I'm sure. Well, toodles. Oh, God. Huh? Oh. oh, okay. I'm a demon. Oh, hey, number 18. I've got to tell you, but I actually don't need that pie today. Hey, yeah, Claire is over today. She brought her own pie. Just wait a second. Claire, watch out for Zara's pie, uh, piles of fried chicken and underwear. He just eats the chicken and drops his drawers when he when he's done and doesn't clean either of them up. 
What do you say, girl? Whoops. Oh no, the pie. I'll just be, uh... I'll keep doing it until uh, something changes. Because I doubt this is how the game... I think it's just weird game overs. Wow, uh, you're really good at dying. Or you just are a completionist. Gotcha. Yep, yep, you got it. Maybe try hiding if you're just having trouble. Anyway, I believe someone said she wanted to talk to you. Hey, girl. Welcome back. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe it's done. I'm gonna assume it's maybe over. We'll see. Welcome back. Ba -ba -ba. Huff, huff. Is this far enough? Am I really safe? I'd better be quiet. Where did that maid go? I thought I saw her run into that door, but I'm sure not going in that room. She's lying. Wait, what did she mean by that room? Did I die? Is something in that room? <laughs> something is in that room! Alright. Let's go downstairs. Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. Nah, that's where they expect me. What? Yeah. I'd restart it anyways, because I want to explore everywhere else before I go in this room, because this is the room that can hide two maids. Oh, 18, my dear, where did your tasty face go? Nobody here. Oh shit, they checked it. They checked it first. Aha! That stupid girl must have jumped out the window. There's a basement stairwell hidden behind the house. Wait. And stairwell, you say? She probably busted her stupid head all over it. Well, I guess I'll have to eat my pie without a face. No. Well, I'm gonna have to restart the game, I guess. Hey, well, another maid. How long have you been down here? I hid here when I heard Yoki chasing you. She doesn't seem like herself. What do you mean? It's almost like something is possessing her. And not just her, others as well. What? Be careful, you can't trust anyone in here. Although, I don't think all the things in control are all the same. What do you mean? Oh, you'll see. You'll see my foot up your butt. If you don't bring that pie soon. Or you'll feel unless you have butt eyes. What a weird dream. I better go get another pie. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna... Yes. I want to, I guess, restart. Yeah. What if we go in the basement? I'm curious. I put up a sheet of iron on the wall, because it's cold and hard like my heart. It's also really heavy, and my tiny arms can't move it anyway. Hey, do you think if I marry Yoki that she'll move this for me? She has really large forearms. She could crush my head like a cranberry. That's true! I've actually thought about doing that. Zara's self-portrait of himself. He drew it back before he fin uh, finally convinced Yoki to date him. There's a plaque beneath. I drew this picture without eyes, because I only have eyes for Yoki. Seriously, I put my portrait's eyes on the painting I made of Yoki. Her picture has like four eyes now. I brought it to her. I brought it to her house to show her, but she just yelled at me. Zara, why are you curled up in my be in bed with me? Who let you into this into our house this late? And why do you steal that drawing from a child who doesn't understand biology? Oh, Yoki, you just don't understand how many feelings I have. The basement's pie slicer for when Yoki is in the basement and needs a pie. The backup basement pie slicer for when Yoki is in the basement and needs two or more pies. Like, I gotta, like, read everything, I guess. Everything's been actually... Oh, God. Is this a present cell for maids? Oh, number 18. I'm so glad to see you. Yoki locked us down here. There's no food. There's no water. We're dying. Please, you have to help us. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, 18. How did I help? There's a switch. It's somewhere in the manor. If you find it, please press it so we can all be free. You remember, the switch is located somewhere in this building. I want to know how many endings are on this game. Maybe you should double check. Oh god! 
Well, well, what do we have here? I'm sure you found tons of pies in the basement. Miss Yoki, I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Of course it won't, because I'm locking you down in there forever. <laughs> Man, they really like to rub it in. Wait. They, they face through the wall just to laugh in my face? Dang, I really want some pie. I'll be back. They phase through the wall just to fucking laugh at my fa- oh. oh, sorry. I just remembered a funny joke. 18, where are- where were you with that pie? What a weird daydream. So wait, me, me agreeing to help them led to that? Oh, nothing. Now I'm curious, what if I say no to them? God damn it, well, I'll be right back again. Alright, so what if I say no? Just... oh, no, well... If I say do not help, they say nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go with everything then. Actually, I, I shouldn't need, even need to do this, because then I... Actually, there's so many things I need to do. Okay, yeah, remember the switch. I'll have to deal with the laughing. Yeah. So I'll bear about. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I don't want to get eaten. I guess that's pretty reasonable. Alright, so what is this mirror for one? This is the pie mirror. Sometimes Yoki just stands here and watches herself eat pie. <laughs> it's like picturing someone looking in a mirror eating pie. It's a little weird. <laughs> All right, what is wrong with this room? Hey, idiot. Wrong room. Okay. Hmm, I guess I looked at everything now. Hmm. Oh, wonderful. Yes, at the pie. But then Claire comes and, I don't know. I, I got a thing for, uh, I guess witches, maybe. Especially ones that make poopy, farty noises. Now we will see... If we enter this room! Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. How she could... D Whoa. This is gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide, but... It's like, oh, I like blah 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 about this bed. Now is let's try that again. I'll have to see if I can hide anywhere in that room. I don't think I can even hide in that room. Probably not. So I'll try running in the basement. And then... I'll try running outside too. Huh? Wait, what? Where are the servants that were in here? Oh, don't worry. You're about to join them. Huh. Well, that's a different way of dying through that. Oh, wow, huh? You're really... Yeah, okay, that's this again. We will find out all deaths! Like, hey, going in the kitchen, actually. Huff, huff. Good, when Yoki sees the pies, she'll leave me alone. What? What? Where did the pies go? What is it? It's all stoves. Weird. Because, like, going in the room and hiding, I guess, in the drawer or uh, under the bed was the right thing to do. If I hid in the, the cabinet or the wardrobe, maybe that would be wrong, or just hiding in that room in general is maybe good. But all these different endings, it's interesting. I wasn't originally expecting that. Um, door's locked. Ah! Okay. I think I went everywhere then. The kitchen is very strange. Like, it's not even a ha-ha moment, it's just a... Things got weird. A little bit weird. Subtly weird. Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. Let's see if they catch me by being in here, even though they said it's a... a fit for two people. Where did your tasty face go? And... 
you're more delicious than you are bright, you know. I thought you said this would work. No, I only said that you'd fit. Oh, I know somewhere she'll fit. Well, it's a good thing I, uh... Went under the bed the first time, eh? The developer, I guess, tricked a few people, but I didn't fall for it. I went under the bed first. But since I'm a completionist. Yeah. I wonder if I could actually go out the window. Wait, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have gone out the window. Fuck. I didn't try the window! Damn it! Alright, let's try the window. How about the lamp? Will I die? But it's better trying that than the bed. I, I want to find out what happens. Every single death. 18. Huh? Made the number 18. Stop daydreaming and bring me my cranberry pie. Uh, sorry. I'm on the way. Make sure to hold shift to bring my pie faster. Whatever you people press. Wait, what? That's just the same thing. I... Hmm. So I guess I died. Hmm. Weird. I jumped out the window and made a collapse noise. I guess it suggests that I died. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm gonna save on the third again. We're at the point where I've seen all the endings, I've gone to the basement, I, I actually, I believe. And they shouldn't appear again, I hope. Let's find out. Yeah, remember, what was it? What was it again? Remember the switch is located somewhere in this, oh, a switch in the building. Maybe there's... Hmm, maybe there's like a switch on one of the walls and I'll, I'll double check literally is this I thought they're saying originally the switch is uh, like um, Like it could even be the floor to be frank and honest It could be a sword. It could be the lantern. It could be a floor. It could be on the rug. It could be right like here It could very well be The switch is located somewhere in this building Yeah, I'll, I'll try every wall. I will do that Because I don't know if, like, if the game progresses where they kick me out of the mansion or I do everything in the mansion, then I can have to go outside, or outside is, like, a red herring? I don't know. Uh, what? I just explore 18? Hey, uh, about that pie. Oh, sorry, Miss Yoki. I must have dozed off. Oh, that was weird. Uh, did that happen again? The hell? Uh, let's get out of here quick. Uh, ah! I almost died in there. What's all that racket going on down there? Who do I have to murder to get a decent pie around here? Miss Yoki, there's some kind of demon possessing the kitchen. What? That must be the guy who's eating my sticks of butter. Only I get to eat those, and Zara when he's a good boy. One second. I've hired the very best exorcist available. Oh, hello. Were you the guy that runs the Inconveniently Placed Signs Emporium? Inconveniently Placed Signs Emporium and Exorcism Emporium. Now let's see here. Yeah, this demon's probably gonna kill all of us. And also eat a few babies along the way. But the secret about demons is, they really hate Bibles. So, let me just read a passage here. Ahem. Song of Solomon 8.8. 8. We have a little sister, she has no breasts. <laughs> Wait, what? That'll be $4,000. Do you accept cash? No, only Neopets, Neocash, or Roblox Robux gift cards. Oh, that's fine. Zara has like a billion Robux cards upstairs. He plays children's games because he's a child. So, uh, go help yourself. In the meantime, I have some business that I need to attend to. That's an annoying noise. Please stop! Yoki seems busy with those pies right now. Oh, okay, well, man. Progress, then. He's eating all the pies. He finally notices, or she notices, all the pies in there. Oh, hey. Were we, uh, hmm? you know, under the bed? Oh, yes. The noise is still happening. Oh, yes. We ran out of the room in the kitchen, so Yoki told us to put some pies under the bed. Remember, she said, 
I, I don't want to be stuck in there and have to eat you instead. Haha, -ha, that Yogi. What a joy she is to all of us. A big, thick cabinet. Not good for hiding maids inside. When did pies get under the bed? Shall I take one? Yes. There are enough pies around the house anyways. So I took a pie. Oh god, I need the chewing noises to stop before I go crazy. It's gonna drive me crazy. I need to close that. We don't want Yoki to lose her appetite. Alright, well, while they're noisily eating the pies, I'm especially gonna have to stop playing soon enough. I'm gonna see if I can check the room, if possible. Hey, hey! The pies are down here. Wait, what? What pieless trampery are you trying to do up there? They're still eating! What? So wait. Hey, hey. The pies are down here. What pieless trampery are you trying to do up there? Ah, okay, so they're in that room and they notice I'm trying to go up there, so they're telling me not to. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna go downstairs and hopefully stop hearing the... No! I want to hear the pie-eating noises! I haven't found the switch yet, too. I'm guessing the switch might be in their room. Because I've tried, like, pressing Z basically on every... I'm gonna have to turn this down. I can't handle it. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to more of this crazy game. We'll continue playing, hopefully beat it, maybe get all all deaths, all everything if possible. I'm sure I'll miss maybe a few things because there's a lot of things that go on this game, clearly. But if you've been enjoying and look forward to more, please hit leave a like. Hit wait, what, wait what's, what's the usual? Please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, become a fluff subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.